bagel bombs a throwback for sure but i've always been curious as to how they taste and since i live in canada there are no milk bars to try one so off to the milk bar cookbook i go to make my own we shall start with a bowl add flour salt instant yeast and water taking a bench scraper bring everything together into a shaggy dough Then we will dump it out onto the counter. Scrape off the scraper by scraping your thumb across the scraper. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> Start to bring the dough together. It won't be fun at first, but hang in there. All that excess flour will work itself in. I sometimes get bored of regular kneading, so I do this back and forth knead. It works really well. Just push the dough away from you with the heel of one hand, pull it back towards you with the same heel, then switch your hands, push away with your heel, pull back with your heel. Practice definitely makes this easier, so don't give up, but sometimes the dough is just too sticky and not ready to be worked that way, so regular kneading it is. After a few minutes of kneading, check your dough to see how the gluten is developing. Once you can stretch the dough and see through it without the dough breaking, you're good to go. It took me a solid eight minutes of kneading but your mileage is gonna vary. Form it into a tight ball. The counter is your friend to help create some tension. Drag the dough towards you using your pinky and ring finger to guide the dough. Place the rounded taut dough ball back into the original bowl. Cover with a wet towel and place in a warm spot for 45 minutes. While the dough is resting, we want to cook up two slices of good quality bacon. Then into a small bowl, we are going to add cream cheese, salt, sugar, and the cooked bacon. I'm just going to use some scissors for ease to chop the bacon into the bowl, no need for a knife. And then one big green onion, same scissor treatment. Mix the cream cheese and goodies together. It works a little bit better if the cream cheese is at least room temperature. Taste, it's good and salty. <laughs> there, there's a theme coming. A plate and a spoon are on deck. Scrape off the spatula and use the spoon to even out the cream cheese and mark out eight equal as you can get wedges. Roughly scoop out one of the wedges and place onto the plate in your best attempt at a dollop. Repeat till cream cheese is used up. Place the cream cheese dollop plate into the freezer for later. Next up, the topping. Everything bagel topping is usually sesame seeds, dried onion, garlic powder, poppy seeds, and salt. This is by far the most complicated part of this recipe. Get your oven heating up to 325 Fahrenheit. Dough is done. Plop the dough out onto the counter, sticky part up. Divide into eight equal as you can get pieces. This kills me not weighing out the equal pieces of dough, but I'm following the recipe. Then just squish them out to even thickness. Take the cream cheese out of the freezer and place the dollop into the middle of each dough piece. Bring the dough together around the cream cheese, pinch the dough as best you can so there's no open edges. Round it out like a bun on the counter if you'd like. Repeat until all done. Place the filled dough balls onto a lined baking sheet. Roll each filled ball in the everything topping. You can egg wash before rolling, but I found the dough to be sticky enough. Middle of the oven for 30 minutes, but start keeping an eye on them after 25 minutes. The recipe says that they may explode. Mine didn't. Remove from the oven and place on a wire rack to cool. Mine aren't real brown because of the lack of egg wash and low temperature of the oven. Now I get to taste these. Something I've been wanting to do since 2011. They're chewy, which is good because bagels. <laughs> and definitely a great amount of filling versus dough. Bagel bombs are tasty, if not incredibly salty. I'm sort of salty at how salty these were. <laughs> I would make them again, but only use the salt in the dough. Thanks for watching, guys.